everybody, and welcome back to my blind LP of Valkyria Chronicles. So, I feel like we're getting pretty damn close to the end in terms of, like, story and whatnot, because one, we're in the finale chapter, and two, it seems like this fight is just a direct showdown against Maximilian. So I can't, I'm not exactly sure how much more we have. Like, I'm thinking this might be our last fight, and then we just have cutscenes to the end. But let's do this one cutscene before the fight. And then get started. For years we sought a way to lay our rightful claim to the Empire. And at last, our answer has come. Let me guess. You're talking about the Valkyrie's power. The time of wars waged by men wielding powder and steel is fated to end ere long. The new age will be shaped by emperors, not men. Yes, he who wields the destructive power of the Valkyra grips the very reins of history! Peasants, let us end this! We shall never stop! Not while we draw breath! Okay. So that's just another thing. He's like, oh, like, the... Uh, the one who wields the power of the Valkyrie rules history, and it's like, why would you let Silvaria die? She is much more useful alive than dead in th that circumstance. It makes absolutely no sense why you'd just be like, yeah, just do a suicide mission to wipe out their army. You could probably wipe out their army using her without that. Here are your final orders. Okay, final orders. So this is the final battle. I hope the DLC makes it so I can just like one shot this fucker. <laughs> Time has finally come to settle things with Maximilian. I assume he's capable of neutralizing any attack you send his way, the same as other Valkyrie we've seen. That said, Maximilian's Valkyrie powers are the result of some device. They're artificial. I'm certain I'm certain he'll have a weak point somewhere on that deck. Find it, then lob every bullet and bomb you've got at it. The objective is to defeat Maximilian once and for all. Take that maniac out and put an end to this war, Sevens. And while it may not stop bullets, I hope you won't forget that you go with entire nation's hope for peace. Okay, Maximilian is defeated. Welcome dies. Okay. So I have tanks. So, uh, we use Alicia. I want to make sure the tanks don't die, so I'm going to have Carl and Claudia. Uh, I'm going to have Oscar and Marina because they're just useful in case I need to do anti-personnel. And I'm guessing I have to destroy the big electrical spires that you can see in the cutscene in the last episode. Uh, gonna take Rosie, put her there. I'm gonna take Largo and Jean because I did, uh, I did switch off of the DLC uh, weapon for Largo. I just changed it to uh, one of the rewards that we actually got because it was better. Uh, and <clears throat> so now it's more powerful, a little less accurate, but I generally don't long shot with uh, a Lancer anyway. So I'm hoping that this is a good amount of stuff. I'm not, like, it doesn't seem like a very large map. Uh, I'm wondering how Maximilian is gonna be, whether or not he acts like an right, asshole. We're all set to begin. Let's take Dahlia back with our own hands, Sevens. Uh, like an asshole, like Savaria is in every single instance, where she's just able to shoot rapidly. This is our final operation. Let's end this war. Squad Seven, move out. Although I do like in the last map, I was able to just like circumvent the entire idea of using the tanks to destroy the, the uh, whatchamacallit. The... Up on the Marmota's deck, eh? Nice spot for a showdown. Uh, killing like the Lance. <laughs> like I was thinking, yeah, let's just put two Lancers on deck and fire up instead of trying to like, oh, move here for a shot or two and then next turn I have to evacuate them. And it's just easier. It's just a shame we got no audience. My shamrock's chomping at the bit for a piece of this action. The Edelweiss is also all ready to go, sir. God, you are so not enthused, Chris. We're ready for your orders, Welkin. Okay, let's get started, Sevens. Our target is the enemy commander, Maximilian himself. 
Okay. Okay, even tells you. Yeah, the towers. So, it seems to be... Huh. So, there seems to be three towers that power him, and then the uh, armored towers seem to uh, be the ones that do, like, can we attack people? I'm not absolutely sure. Yeah, and he seems to be the, uh, the exact kind of person I didn't want him to be. Right, I'm gonna... Device again and take out this tower. Okay. Because now the Edelweiss is not being attacked, which is good. Uh, I'm going to save. Because, you know, there's never not a time to save scum. And, oh, look at this. I, like, all these, it's just so nice. If only I had the prologue. If only I didn't uh, save over it. But, almost perfection. Uh, yeah. So now, I believe the only thing powering him left is this tower. Which I'm glad I brought Oscar for. Because I'm hoping... On a move now. ...that he is capable of killing it. Good. Okay. I'm actually going to crouch in case a stray shot is able to get him. So now, he still has question mark health, but he doesn't have any lines going to him. So I think he still has like the power that uh, was given, but it's not as much. Like, he's not invulnerable. I'm not sure if he was ever invulnerable, but I would assume that he was, as long as he was getting the power. Okay. And, uh, I'm actually going to try and get rid of I'll those armored best. towers. And that one wasn't one of the armored ones, but it was still... That's, that's the armored. Once again, end turn. I'll do my best. The reason why I brought Marina was because I wasn't sure if there'd be personnel on the on this map. Okay, it takes four shots to kill with him. So would I be able to just take out the other primary tower? It's not. I guess I'll just go for the armored tower, because I'm using his turn anyway. Okay. Now, he's in base. In base. Uh, I'm going to move Carl up to the Edelweiss. Just in case. Um, I'll do my best. Cause oh wow, I'm calling some bullshit on that. He's able to fire through. Okay, gonna ragnade and uh, snip that plane in the bud. Well, 
I'm gonna move the Shamrock and uh, essentially make another another placement. Uh, actually, because he's now also in tank mode. It's two shots. Okay, so it's both two shots. The armor tower. And what about not? Okay, so I'm gonna gonna move closer. Fire. How much damage do you do on that one? 300? Okay, so that explains it. And I wish I... Um, so now I'm gonna move back with the ship. Because I want... There to at least be a little bit of cover to the people up top. I'm not sure if this is actually going to work. Actually, I should probably just get them on level. God, the tank controls in this game are decent, but they are by no means perfect. Okay, so now Shamrock should be in, like, perfect place. Armor tower is at 460. Uh, he doesn't have weapons. Uh, I'm gonna go try and be a cussy motherfucker with John. You ever seen monsters like these before? Okay, so I can probably. Oh, I definitely should have. Uh, I definitely should have saved before I did this. Because I'm not sure if I can only damage it here. Oh, good shot. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to actually put Sean there in case he decides to move and come up and try and get Carl. Okay, so now since I know I can shoot there, I'm going to save. System save. And let's stay. I'm only going to save over the command mode ones. And I'm going to use Largo to move around on this side, because I didn't even know this was a thing. And you missed, so I'm going to and current action, and I'm going to reload, because I've decided that this is uh, how the game is intended to be played. Otherwise, they wouldn't give you a save feature in, like, I feel like this is definitive, like, I feel like there's almost a canon in, en in every video game where, like, the main character's special power is that they have the power of the reload of, like, oh, they know how things could have gone. That, that's what, like, save and loading is. You're just... You just know the future, a possible future, and you're trying to avoid it. I That's my headcanon in every game where you can save scum. So these come back every turn, which is absolutely bullshit. Um, which means... Okay. Oscar, you're going to be useful again. Okay, kill that one. So taking out the sub towers and the armored towers is more for Okay. Okay, I get it. 
So taking out the armor towers and whatnot is to defend, is to keep your people safe when they decide to move up. Whereas the power towers are to make sure that the boss fight does not become menial once you take them out the first time. Can I not hit this? Um. I should be able to hit it. Oh shit, that's right. I am able to hit it. I just wasn't comprehending why it wasn't saying so. Okay. So I have two of the power towers out now. Power tower. Um, I'm gonna move back. God, I was not expecting him to just be able to shoot through the tanks. Because... Shamrock ain't doing so well. Edelweiss, doing better in terms of health. Treads are essentially dead. I'm gonna have to use... Because I don't want... I don't want to lose a turn. So I'm gonna probably use... Carl. Um, okay. First of all, I'm gonna save. John. I didn't realize that the- oh yeah, those towers did have bullets. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's good. So now I'm gonna save again. I'm, gonna, I'm basically gonna be saving every turn. In case I ha make a mistake. Heal him. Okay, so he gets like five shots. shoot me, like, down here. And that's a lance fragment. So that prevents, uh... Okay, and current action. So what... So I had... So I've gotten rid of this tower, this tower, one armor tower, another armor tower, one back tower, that back tower... So now, I'm going to save and see what a shot from the Edelweiss does to him. Because now he doesn't have uh, any... anybody. Did you miss? Seriously? God damn it. Alright. I really hope that was a... Like, I feel like there would have been a... something. If I had hit. Okay, so I can do damage to him now. Yes, that one managed to connect. So he was using the towers to induce an artificial Valkyria state. All right, everybody, keep your sights trained on those energy towers. If you're hurt, you okay. right so I need to make sure that Oscar doesn't die. And I do want to... Okay. <clears throat> and what I do want to do is I want to try and get Maximilian with someone else. Anyone else. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to... I'm going to try and get him by using Alicia. if I'd be able to slip through there. That's why I... <sighs> oh, 
Oh shit. I didn't think he would get a return fire state. I thought he would be like a, like a tank or something. to person versus 100 to armor. What's Marina? 215. But she got like six shots in on him. Like seven in on him. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save, as always. I'm gonna see if Marina... Is okay. Thanks. Okay. Oh God, that was a dismal. I'm gonna hide her here because it looks like his shots don't go through that. Um, okay. So I wish I had more Alicia. Um, Cause I don't think. Cause I'm not sure if whether whether or not. Um, whether or not he's taking damage based on two-person damage or versus armor damage. Because I'm guessing it's versus person. Because I hit him with a... I hit him with a, uh, a tank shell. And it did some damage to him. But I, Alicia did a lot more. Yeah, Alicia did a bit more than he did. So, what actually I'm going to do is use orders, uh, healing boost, no, healing quest, what the hell? okay, boosts, um, heal all, first aid, fully restores one ally's HP. Um, I'm actually going to use this, ooh, or maybe... What I'm going to do is I'm going to call her to retreat. This is an order. Because I used three turns to three CP to get her fully healed, but then he could just come by and demolish her. But if I make a retreat, I can then just order her to come back right there. Oscar is useful because I need him to take out uh, towers. Uh, and so are Jean and Largo. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to save this turn. Well, say, save this turn and save this turn. Like, save one CP. Like, end phase, keep the CP. Ah, oh, because, okay, so I only have two shots with Oscar this upcoming turn. Why is he moving over there? Okay. okay. Took out my treads. That's fine. I don't really plan to move with him anyway. Ah! Oh, he's moving away slowly. So he has to be within range of these towers for them to spawn, I guess. Or they don't always all spawn. Okay. So... 
I'll do my best. There's Oscar. Pull him back. Take out that tower. Okay. This tower is dead. Wait. Is this tower channeling power to him? Wait, what? What kind of bullshit is that? An armored tower is giving it to him? Fuck. That makes it so much harder. Okay. I need to save. Okay, now it's time to use Largo. Um, use Largo to take out that armored tower. That was gonna take two shots. But I believe it would take two shots from a tank anyway. Save over what I just did. I'm gonna use Largo again. Okay. You're done. Oh god damn it. So you do have to hit it in the one specific part of it. Which I'm gonna bullshit, because that, that part's not all that big. I have to load over that. And I know that this might not be the most thrilling gameplay watching me reload, <laughs> but I also want to get through the battle. I well, really wish you did that earlier. And you fucking bitch. God, if Oscar had more shots. Hell, he can fucking shoot that thing. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to have to reload anyway. He's at full health. What? Does he get back full health if I don't destroy the towers in a turn? Be gone. Okay, so the Edelweiss got killed. Load from there. Okay, so I need to check out. Crap, I can't fucking... No, do not end current phase. So... Use Oscar. You're not getting away. Cool. Come on, hit. He can take out that one. Yes! Good work. Keep it up. is in the base, right? Whatever. System save. Okay, I'm gonna use Jean. To heal the otherwise probably get back to full health and treads pretty high.
the Shamrock really isn't doing anything. Just sitting there. Maximilian does still have damage on him. I could just take out this tower. Um, it's hard for me to tell because I'm not sure. Oh, get closer to him, have a better shot. But he did heal. He definitely healed some. Which I don't like. Not one bit. But, I'm gonna save again. Save. I'm gonna use Alicia. My turn, okay? Because she's probably gonna be my ringer. Does that thing... Oh, fuck you. We weren't even looking. Are you... Are you able to fucking follow where I go? We weren't looking in my direction. Uh, fuck. And he doesn't take damage when he's moving. Or at least the... Edelweiss's thing isn't more... Isn't powerful enough to do that. Um, fuck. I'm not sure what I should do. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna load. No. Load. I'm gonna load the one I just did. Leave it to me. Load this tower. Fire. Okay. I want to get him turned. God. Um, basically turned completely around. That way, Alicia can come up behind him, hopefully. System save. Because what I want her to do is I want her to come up, get him from behind, so he can't retaliate fire. Moving Gonna be able to game from here, but I'm gonna use another turn, and I'm not gonna save on this one in case stuff goes wrong. I want to be able to save before. Gets one? I got him from behind. Very well. We shall see how you fare once the power output is raised to its limit. Put 
her right there. Um, in a system save. I'm guessing he does more damage. I'm not sure if he takes less. Um, I'm gonna see how much damage this does. Did like no damage. Okay. I'm not sure what to do, so I'm just going to end and let that stand. I have to wonder how much this guy's movement is. Like, it seems like Valkyrias, except for Silvaria, are incapable of moving at a decent speed. But they seem to have the movement capacity of a scout. <laughs> okay, bud, you're wa you're walking. You are you are really walking. I'd appreciate it if you would stop walking, because you are getting dangerously close to being able to just destroy my Edelweiss. Once again, we have the fucking armored tower. Bullshit. This tower. And this tower. Okay. And Oscar isn't going to be able to shoot like any of them. Um, okay, so let's save here. Uh, yeah, I'll just save over that. Can't move Claudia right now. And treads are at zero. Great. Great, great, great. Um, so, first, let's get rid of the towers. Bitch. Shut up. Shots with Largo to get that thing down. Um, I'm actually gonna save uh, over that. I'm gonna try and get Oscar out of the way first of all. Then. Okay, that was lucky because I saw that. Did not go right down the middle. And another one. Okay, so he got his bullet back, which is good. So he has one shot. Um, he does 300 damage. Um, okay, so I'm gonna save. System save. Use Oscar again. Okay, so it takes two shots with Oscar. In the crit spot. But he doesn't have any shots now. But he's in the base. So I'm going to system save, save, save over that one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Largo again. And I'm going to use him to destroy this tower. 
If he wouldn't be such an inaccurate piece of shite. Ugh, God. System. Load. Because I want to... I want to conserve as many moves as possible. So I need Largo to hit this. God damn it, Largo! I fucking hate you. Like, this battle is taking so much longer simply because of the amount of reloads I've had to do and because of this respawning tower bullshit where he, he gets health back. What am I supposed to do? I can't conserve all that much movement. What do they expect me to do in terms of good? In terms of doing damage to him. Alright. Enemy unit neutralized. Okay. So system save. Because I can't destroy the towers permanently. They don't allow me to do that. So I'm actually going to. Shoot him. Oh fuck, I'm an idiot. Luckily he is an inaccurate bastard. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't matter to me though. Because I'm gonna order this unit to retreat. So I got two, four, six, eight moves left. Now I need to do a lot with that eight moves. Gotta. How did. How did he get. She get knocked up there? Okay. Really? Really? You piece of shit! When did I fucking save last? Okay. Shoot him in the arm. This time she only got hit once, which was good. Treat. Now I'm going to save over this. Somehow she got fucking knocked up there. Here we go. Gotta spin around. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted. The fucking tank controls aren't what they used to be. Okay. So now. Zaka's up there. And, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call in Melville. Because scouts are gonna be how I take this thing down. How I take what's his face down. Because they're gonna be my bum rushers. They're gonna be the people that are just like, okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> like, I might, I might have to t take a few hits on this in terms of. Uh, in terms of people not uh, falling. Do that. Now I'm gonna take Carl. Do my best. Uh, run him out. Because to heal the Edelweiss, I want the Edelweiss to at least have tread health. Put him out here. Claudia, I can't move. Like, if I move her, she's probably gonna get taken. Um, but I, what I will do, I'm gonna save again. 
god, it's just save after save after save, so I don't lose anything. So I'm gonna take Alicia. Gonna... God damn it. Fucker. Um, she has 96 health. Um, okay. Okay. I'm debating because I could heal her, then have her attack again do more damage. After that, I could then have her retreat if she survives. But, I'm not sure if she will survive, that's the thing. Because, I got orders, I have uh, I have healing request. I can restore some of her health. I'm not sure how much, though, that will be taken off in like the counter shots. Because then I can attack with her and then I can retreat. Where's retreat? Retreat is one. So that would take three total. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to save and see how it does. Uh, because if it doesn't go well, I'm going to reload, send Zaka down, try and put him here to like box him in. So first order of business. I wish I could ignore this. Like, I wish I didn't have to go through the... Ch -ch 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 -ch. This. Okay. Healed some of my health. Now the key is... Mash aim. He does not seem to have a crit spot in his body. Okay. And now mash... B. End that action. And then... Ugh. I want to have her... Well, I need to have her retreat at this point. Orders. Okay, I'm gonna order her to retreat. The annoying thing is I'm losing a turn. Due to this. Because... Uh, in my brain I was like, oh, I can heal her, have her attack have a retreat, then call her out again. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this spot here. Because at this point, I'm not going to... like. There's nothing more I can do in terms of improving my team. I think Claudia's just out there. So I've got to end phase. Hope that he doesn't attack Claudia or something? I don't know. I'm trying to go through this game without any deaths. Parma deaths. Oh, he's doing the airway. God. Yeah, so he doesn't take any damage from Crossfire, which I'm calling bullshit on. Like, that that's such assetry that he doesn't take any damage from crossfire. Claudia got, got taken out. It's a minor loss, but... But she was fucking knocked from the ground level onto the top. Okay, so he's moving back to, like, center stage. He has his back turned. So that's not bad. So I have 
Melville now, but I also... Tower, regular tower, regular tower. Okay, so they're all regular towers. That's good. Okay. So... I'll do my best. Use Oscar. That one almost missed. Okay. So use Oscar, take out that tower. Okay, and current action there. Now in view of that tower. So now I'm gonna system save. Save over this. Gonna call Alicia back, first of all, and use Oscar. Murder that tower. Okay. And then I'm going to move him back over here. It's mostly protected. System save. Okay. And then use Jean. That. Sorry, honey. Nice. Okay, and I'm gonna save over that. And use Carl to heal up the auto vice. Thank you. Okay. He's looking backwards. Um, he's not all that high on health. But scouts seem to be the best way to deal damage to him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get behind him. Because he doesn't launch uh, intercept fire while you're behind him. But he can always... Okay, so that was really good. Because... Uh, Melville didn't take any action. And he's actually in a really good place, because I... I learned about this by watching some videos of the uh, trials, like the challenges. Like, the enemy aim will usually hit a uh, corner. It's not the perfect uh, cover, but it's actually really good, especially for scouts. So I was hoping to get this with Alicia when she was standing, like, here, and he was standing here. But this is a much better version of it. It's just unfortunate that uh, it's Melba who gets it because his aim isn't as good as Alicia's. And his weapon isn't as powerful. Uh, but he's probably going to be taking him out this turn. And I'm going to save over each rendition of it where he doesn't take damage. I'm on it! I'm really glad the scout rifles do not have, uh, do not have ammo. No, uh, uh, sorry, ain't gonna happen. That's third eye. I don't know what that did. Yeah, I, I would want to do this Alicia for the, okay, you know, the storiness of it, or at least have her out, but this boss is quite long. Okay, got her. Got him. Got her, him. Because we're already at like 55 minutes. And. Impossible. Alice is the power of the Valkyra. Uh, how? How are we beaten? I don't know, maybe because you don't have the things to see with. Maximilian, you lost the moment you began to rely on the Valkyra's power. Wow, we got B-Rank. 
I feel like if I was able to do that one turn earlier. Surrender, Maximilian. Your war is over. <laughs> Surrender, you say? I think you forget. We Valkyra can give our lives to fuel a blazing hot inferno of destruction. Has it stopped? My guess is it's because I killed the power supply. Baldio, you made it! I snuck out in time to hitch a ride on this monster. I'm sorry it took me so long to stop the engine. No matter my reasons, I was wrong to have betrayed you. Now, it's time that I paid for what I have done. Let go! Let us go now! Look at the two of us, thinking power could save us. But now it's our cue to lead the stage. Farewell, Welkin, Alicia. Best of luck. are still in there! Hey, boss! Alicia! You two okay? Welcome. You're all right? Yeah. Except for that. Our way is blocked off. The entire deck's gone up! We can't cross! All of you, go on and get out of here! Not a chance, boss! You get over here! We're leaving together or not at all! We're gonna look around and find a way to connect to your side! to leave now! That's an order! Ugh. Damn it all! Sevens, we're leaving! Get off of the Barbona! The deck's a lost cause. Alicia, let's find a way up. Right. Lead on. I'm not afraid when I'm with you. Ever. Now let's go. Right. Let's move. Okay. So I was wondering, like, okay, why did he have to drop drop off, like, into the deck there? And then it just blew up. And I was like, I was thinking, like, there's actually no point. Because once the power is turned off, didn't he lose all the power? Like, could he not do anything? So I'm guessing it has, like, a storage, like, in it. Or by... And like by landing in the engine or wherever that hole went to, it blew up. 
but like I was wondering like he was depowered why do you have to do the suicide but I guess it makes a little bit more sense once uh, once uh, you think of it as like okay chances of the lance had like a battery in it and was holding a shit ton of power but uh, okay I just saved right there we're gonna keep going through the cutscenes I just wanted to save so in case something happened I didn't have to redo the battle one, bro. Leon, it must have taken forever to finish building this. Where did you find the time? After we lost Isara, Casey and myself, well, everyone in the squad really came by to pitch in a hand. It was Isara's dream, you know? So, uh, it wasn't hard finding help. I don't suppose it was. Isara, you'll always live inside us. The dreams you left that day, now they're all of Rest in peace. So tell me, bro, how far are we going today? This baby could take us clear across the sea if we want. Back home. Back to a free country. Our friends are waiting. Take us to Rangrees. The 25th day of October, 1935. The death of Maximilian, commander of the Empire's invasion of Gallia, paved the way for truce between the two nations. After seven tumultuous months at war, Gallians everywhere looked forward to a time of hard-won peace. Squad 7 of the Gallian Militia disbanded shortly after the conflict's conclusion. And its members began to move on, each following his or her own path. And here, at the end of their long struggle, I lay my pen to rest. Okay, so that's the end of the game, guys. I, I hope you've had a nice time playing along with me, or watching along with me, and seeing me get really angry. Uh, there's the cast on the left. Um, I don't think I'll know anyone. Steve Bloom, holy shit. <laughs> uh, Robin Atkin Downs. I feel like I've heard some of these names. Um, but I really did like this game. It, it was a fun game, and a uh, relatively quick play like 40 hours i've played of it uh, or like 45 46 uh with all the grinding i did although it really makes me sad when i did so much quick grinding on the uh the scout challenge when before when i couldn't figure out how to do it and instead of looking up videos i just went and did like skirmishes in the forest instead oh god like i wasted so much time with that but uh uh, 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 uh. But the game, the game was fun. It was like sure there were like a few, like, hard spots like the Silvaria fight slash fights. Those are relatively unfair most of the time. 
uh, a couple of like the unlucky restarts where it's like you get a bullshit lancer with uncanny accuracy. But you gotta take them at got a roll with the punches really. But the game itself was extremely fun, and the uh, style of it where it's all like book and you can see like the borders and like not exactly clear, but the borders are still there. Like even though there's stuff going outside of it, it loses its color as it goes away. Uh, but you also get like the story of like the, the romance between Alicia and uh, Welkin. It's, it almost feels sudden slash rushed in. Like there wasn't a lot going behind it, like leading up to it. But it, it's also just a nice story. Uh, I wish you could have used like, I understand Welkin's like, we, could, we can't rely on the Valkyrie power. But I wish we could have like, uh, used Alicia in her Valkyrie state. I feel like that would have been pretty fun. Uh, the last boss was... I don't want to say underwhelming, but it was almost artificially hard. Like, like it broke the concepts that the game had instated in that you destroyed an enemy unit, the towers, but then they come back the next turn and they make the boss invincible. And making the boss invincible through the towers is fine. I'm not... I'm not uh, against that. But the towers come back. Uh, and I find that a little unfair. Just because throughout the entire game, when you kill an enemy, you they are gone forever unless they call in reinforcements. There was none of that uh, in... Oh, he's sorry, I died. She was a good character. But that that was also a decent part of the story, where it's like sudden loss. Like, because up to this point, you haven't really lost anything other than, like, Brule. Uh, and if you noticed, on the first, like, cut down where she was still talking, uh, it said living, 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 living. And I'm proud to say, everybody was alive at the end. Everybody. And I was, I was proud of that. But, uh, as I was saying, like, the last fight broke the bounds, because it didn't, it, you didn't need to call in reinforcements to repair the towers. They just came back alive. Uh, and it wasn't always the same towers. Some, like, one time it was the armored tower, which takes more than one shot with some people, which is unfair. Well, not unfair, just more annoying. And then, even if you sneak up behind him, he still, even though he gets, like, the surprise stuff, he still gets the retaliation shots, which is another thing that never happened prior to this. Which is fine to introduce new stuff that's never happened in a final boss fight. But I don't see it as fair when it's breaking the mechanics that you had established up to that point. Like, if you're gonna do something brand new, do it new. Don't just take something that we know and we assume is always going to be present and then just flip it on its head and get rid of it. But otherwise, it was pretty good. Like, some of the story was goofy, but... Okay, upon retirement from the armed forces, Eleanor began and still manages a publishing outfit. Following her marriage to Largo, her holidays now spent helping out on the farm under the shade of a straw hat he made her. Leaving military service after the war, Largo returned to his hometown to restore the family farm. After offering Eleanor a bouquet large enough to fill an ox cart, a gold ring, and ten years' worth of love, the two finally married. The war's end marked the birth of a new star. Her hit song of love passed on became an anthem during the wars of Gaia's revival. She now travels Europe on a constant tour but returns home yearly to visit Isara's grave. Zaka returned home to establish the Thousand Toy Factory to bring smiles back to Gaia's war orphans. The Enigma Box, a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle with a hundred possible shapes, is currently the hottest toy in the market. After returning to school to get his master's degree, Kreis delved into passion research in the field of aeronautic engineering. His graduate thesis has become a cornerstone of contemporary thought on flight. <sighs> a speed demon since the day he piloted Cyrus airplane, Leon subsequently became a racer by trade. He hasn't slowed down once after taking the goal at his first event. He continues to race in competitions across Europe today. Holy crap! <sighs> After the war's end, she publicly confessed her heritage, shocking the masses. Her candor won the support of most Galleons, however, and she now leads Galleon both name and fact. She remains single amidst many marriage offers. <sighs> okay. So they're just cutting in every so often to make me read really fast. Uh, but I really did like this game. Like, the battle system was... Uh, for the first version of this, because this is the first game, uh, experimentally, everything was really smooth for the most part. There were some annoyances where, 
like, oh, you press forward and then you just go over the thing. And it's like, well, you might think that is uh, inherently, like, smooth. Like, oh, it's very intuitive. You want to go over it, you just press over it. I would rather have a button uh, aligned to it because I use the left stick to move, the right stick to, uh, like, do the camera slash uh, other stuff. Uh, a is to confirm things, which is sometimes crouch, even though I believe you should... I, I feel like this game deserves, like, a crouch everywhere type thing. Like, maybe you get a defensive boost uh, by cover and whatnot, but I feel like you should be able to crouch and, like, raise stealth so they don't turn and fire at you. Uh, B is cancel. Uh, y was something. X was another thing. But RB was target mode, but the other buttons, the remaining, like, other bumper and the two triggers, they weren't assigned anything, so I feel like they could have put go over on it. I'm gonna stop for this last cutscene. Mr. G! You gotta take us bug hunting again soon, okay? You bet. You know, I think you're ready for my top secret hunting spot. Yippee! Thank you! <laughs> We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Go right along home now. Welcome, Gunther. After the war, he returned to his studies. Many had thought the Galleon hero would rise to further fame. But Welkin had something else in mind. He returned to Bruel, there to realize his long-held dream of becoming a teacher. On weekends, he's often seen taking his students out on nature hikes. His is a peaceful civilian life, and he would have it no other way. Thank you for choosing Alicia's. Hey, honey. How's business today? Hey! Hey, you. What a surprise. Guess what? So I started selling the smoked cheese bread today, and everybody loves it! Of course. Told you that bread was great. Guess everyone in town agrees with me. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia Gunther. Hey. Trading in her rifle for a rolling pin, Alicia trained around the clock to pursue her dream. After many long months, she received her national certification as Baker. On the same day, she married her sweetheart, Welkin Gunther. Together, the two opened Alicia's Bakery. It didn't take long for word to spread about her delicious creations. And now, even visitors from far away make a point of stopping to sample her fresh baked bread. How about you? How are your classes today? Ah, uh, you know, those kids never seem to run out of questions. <laughs> you know, they're amazing. Their curiosity's endless. That's so. Then you're a kid, too. You're as incurably curious as any one of them. <laughs> Speaking of kids, how's Isara been today? been a good girl? Yep. I was real good. I was just helping Mama make some bread. I needed the dough all by myself. Oh, I wish you could have tasted the bread that dough made. Our customer said it was the best ever. Hey! Isara, that's really great. All right. You show me how and I'll help, okay? Yay! <laughs> Come on, Papa. I'll teach you. <laughs>
That was good. Let's save. Okay. So this game was really good. Uh, I didn't go through all the scrimmages, didn't show all the scrimmages, didn't show all the challenges. Went through every map. Uh, I believe there was definitely some stuff that I either had to finish all the scrimmages to upgrade my stuff, because I didn't go through all the trees, get to the final ones and everything. Uh, there was some stuff that I believe was still unlockable. Not sure if that's New Game Plus, or if I needed to do scrimmages, or I needed to get certain medals. Uh, but this game was very fun. I had, I had so much enjoyment playing it. Uh, sure there was some frustration here and there, but generally it was uh, really fun. The uh, I know that there's a Valkyria Chronicles 2 and Valkyria Chronicles 3, but apparently they're only on PSP, uh, so I can't really play them on the channel because they haven't been ported, if they're ever going to be ported. Uh, and I'm not sure what game I'm going to play next. Uh, and it just went to the uh, final, the the essentially the opening. But uh, I'm not sure what game I'm going to be playing next uh, because a uh, little uh, sight behind the curtains. Uh, right now it is like first week of August. But I'm going to be uploading these episodes of Valkyrie Chronicles because as of right now, the recording of this episode, I have yet to up upload even the first episode of Valkyrie Chronicles. I, in fact, just uploaded the last episode of the Disgaea 5 Complete uh, just the other day, along with the random like five second video from uh, Beyond the Horizon's hug scene, which I, I just thought was fucking hilarious, so I decided to put up, because I figured a lot of people would look for just that scene, uh, like, four second clip, but, uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to play next, uh, I'm going to be uploading this, uh, weekly, so for, I think it's like 20 some, it, it'll, I think it'll be like 26 weeks, I'm not sure how long, like, I'm not sure in my brain how many weeks, I think that might actually, if I do it, if I do do it weekly, uh, it may actually get me to like the next summer. Uh, I do plan uh, on uh, on this channel. I do plan to play through all of Disgaea One and Disgaea Two. I might actually just try and go through every Disgaea game, but uh, only Disgaea One and Disgaea Two have been ported to PC, and I've already done five, which leaves three, four, and D two. So uh, I'm not sure what more games I'll play. I might try uh, I might try and do like a little bit more action-y games, a little more like involved games, like maybe a platinum game or something. I'm not sure. But uh, it won't be you won't be seeing anything like that anytime soon. So uh, with this, I would like to say thank you for coming on with me on this journey through Valkyrie Chronicles. And I hope to see you again in whatever series I do next time. So I hope you all have a very nice day.